Good evening. Today's devotional for Our High Calling is entitled, Under the Yoke of Christ. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. 1 John 2 verse 10. Satan is seeking by his temptations to obtain advantage over souls. Let nothing you may do or say prove a temptation or discouragement to any soul. Remember, he is the purchase of the blood of Christ. Every soul is precious. Only as you look to the cross of Calvary can you place a right estimate upon the soul. How sad a thing it would be to have anything you may do or say balance a soul in the wrong direction. You are bound by cords of obligation to God and to your fellow man. You cannot break these cords and free yourself from these obligations. Do not be troubled by what other people think or say, but cling to the Lord. He will never fail you. We must ever bear in mind that Satan is working hard to secure every soul. We must work on the Lord's side, not giving the least occasion which anyone can take advantage of. If words are spoken and charges made to provoke you, the very best reproof you can give is to remain silent, as though you heard not. We are all to remember that we are under the yoke of Christ, and we must not disgrace our Savior or the yoke he has invited us to wear. We will just as surely rule over, rule our spirit as we wear the yoke. What others may do, what others may say, what others may think of you will not change God's thoughts towards you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, and the opinion of man will not change his character. Jesus loves you, and he takes no man's measurement of your character. You are to behold Jesus and reflect his image. Keep his love in your thoughts. Invite the heavenly guest to abide with you. Let your spirit be cleansed from all earthliness, all unholy, uncharitable thoughts. Let your words be clean, sanctified, vivifying, and refreshing all with whom you associate. Be not easily provoked. Let the praise of God be in your heart and upon your lips, that no evil thing may truthfully be said of you.